Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Tuesday, May 3rd. Around noontime, mountain time, 2022, X1.1 just shot off the southeast limb from an unknown active region, unnumbered. A big story, 15 inches of snow makes Nebraska look like the middle of winter in early May. Holy macaroni. Keep calm. It's boom time. Portions of the interstate were shut down and numerous traffic accidents were reported amid the blast of winter weather on the second day of May in the Nebraska Panhandle. It can certainly snow in May, something that residents of part of western Nebraska learned Monday as a heavy dose of fresh powder closed highways and led to several accidents. Some places in the Nebraska Panhandle picked up nearly a foot or more of the global warming goodness. Shut up, Al. Travel is not recommended. Snow in western Nebraska closes Interstate 80 to Wyoming. Wow. And that's not all. Snow closes Hawaii's island Mauna Loa or Mauna Kea Summit Road. Look at that. In May, hey, hey. Let's check out the National Weather Service snowfall analysis for more. What we're going to look at is the last 72 hours. and We'll just blow it up for you here. All the links for everything we discuss are below the video. And there we have that patch of snow in Nebraska, western Nebraska, also in Wyoming. This is only showing 8 inches when they reported in the article 15 inches. So you can see how that uh, reporting is going here. Where we had up to 2 feet of snow in the central center of Idaho, as well as snow falling in the Cascades south towards Cali, which is good news. More good news, it's already Denver's wettest day in a year. Colorado can breathe a collective sigh of relief after much-needed moisture began falling Sunday, which was their fun day. And it wasn't so fun here in Hereford, Texas. Baseball-sized hail causes widespread damage in Hereford. Base, look at that. Look at the damage on the side of the building there. And we have some amazing footage from Australia in a second about some hail. Let's see if we can pull this up. That's from hail? I don't know. It looks like someone ransacked their house. But let's take a look at this. The hail is like baseballs here. It is ruining our house. We've got holes in the roof. Everywhere. They are the size of baseballs. Holy <laughs> Oops, don't mind the broken couch. This piece of hail came through the roof. I don't know if you can see, but everyone's houses have had hail go through the roof. It is insane. Hello guys! Um, just going to give you a quick view of our newly installed sunlight, sunroof. Look at all that natural light coming in. I like up the back. Gorgeous. Why didn't we do this earlier? Well, at least they can make fun of it, and that's apparently the good, the best way you can deal with that. Continued severe thunderstorms and critical fire weather threats continue. Severe thunderstorms are forecast Tuesday along the Ohio River Valley, Wednesday into the Southern Plains, and Thursday into the Lower Mississippi River Valley. Critical fire weather conditions will persist apart across parts of New Mexico, West Texas and even southern Colorado and northeast Arizona through Wednesday. Then again, Sunday. So those are your warnings and your watch. Here we are at the GFS model to take a look at that severe weather threat, which is going to explode in just about six hours across Oklahoma, Nebraska, and even Texas. So heads up if you're on this front. And that could be tornado watch, tornado watches and warnings, hail, heavy winds. And that's going to move over into Arkansas. And misery there. And that will be Thursday. And then by Friday, the threat moves further south into Louisiana and Texas again, and then begins moving east. Look at all the severe threat. This is Friday, Saturday, all the way through the weekend. So heads up for severe weather. And let's take a look at the snowfall total. In the next 24 hours, we're going to see snow, heavy snow in central Wyoming there. We're going to have some snow in northern Colorado and the Rockies. 
And then it is a pretty quiet pattern until we get to the weekend when snow is going to begin to move into the Pacific Northwest. And then take a look at that, even down into Central California through mid-May. Hey, hey. That is a lot of snow. Seismic update. Let this load. No quakes to know. You can see some activity here in Hawaii. Stacking. We have a little bit of moderate activity on the west coast of the U.S. Interesting quake just kicking off here in Poland. Another quake in the center of Poland. So something is afoot in Poland. We'll have to take a look, see what's going on there. Could be deep well injection, fracking. Could be a volcano. I haven't taken a look, but I will look at Poland and see where that seismicity is emanating. Now, worldwide volcano news update. San Gay, Fuego, Semaru, Reventador, Kugu. What is that? Gaua. Sakura Hima, Sakura Jima, Nevada State, Ruiz, Sabancaya, Suanacima. Nothing out of the ordinary here. We have a new volcano to add to the list. Gaua volcano. Minor eruption to 6,000 feet. What we do want to talk about is space weather in X1.1 that just kicked off the southeast limb here in a region that has not numbered yet. So this active region will be numbered in a day or so as it turns around the limb. And we can come over here to Solar Ham. And we can see that X flare, X1.1, kicking off after an M flare, which also was not geo effective, happened about six hours ago. There you can see the D layer absorption, and there was probably mild radio blackout. We missed it. But this one is not headed towards Earth, and it is no threat. The threat will be in the days to come. In two or three days, this will be fa close enough facing Earth that it will become geo effective, then it will be geo effective for about six or seven days as it moves across the solar disk there. So we're going to keep a close eye on that after an X flare just fired off from an, an active region that's not numbered yet. Now, a concerning change is happening to Earth's water cycle, according to satellite data. And this is really scientific. -y. The pattern can be basically be described as wet gets wetter and dry gets drier. And this is what your taxpayers are going for. And it's all your fault. Climate change is throwing Earth's water cycle severely out of whack, where the wet gets wetter and the dry gets drier. And the dumb get dumber. I feel a little dumber reading that article. Neanderthals produced wooden spears advanced enough to kill at a distance. There's nothing dumb about this study published back in 2019. In the Journal of Scientific Reports, a team of researchers from the University College London and Nordic Sport Limited examined the performance of replicas of 300,000-year-old Schoeningen hand-thrown spears. And we're going to be doing a complete expose tonight on Magnetic Reversal News on the Schoeningen hand-thrown spears. So join us. Fascinating podcast. And that's a boon to knowledge. Proper prior planning defense piss ball performance in a dystopian world where Dry gets drier and wet gets wetter. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Oh, yeah. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. That's a boom. Mm -hmm.